Yesterday, Elizabeth May called a press conference and dropped this bombshell. Effective today, I am no longer leader of the Green Party of Canada. Even members of her own party were shocked, but she reassured Green supporters, it's not you, it's May. I'm joined now by a woman who did what Andrew Scheer could not. She stepped down. Please welcome the former leader of the Green Party, Elizabeth May. Wow. Elizabeth, say it ain't so. You know, I was... Uh... Look, crowd's very excited. Listen to that. Uh, Elizabeth, say it ain't so. We need you at 22 Minutes uh, for jokes. I'm here whenever you need me. I mean, but the point that when the Green Party caucus can no longer meet in a smart car, it's time for me to go. That's true. <laughs> what I want to know, Elizabeth, are the rumors true? Are you challenging Peter McKay for the leadership of the Conservative Party? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorely tempted, especially with, you know, how Sheer missed those open shots on net. I just have a feeling that I'm better with a party I can actually believe in. You said you're quitting to spend more time with your new husband. I didn't think you'd be the kind of person who'd get married and then quit your job, Elizabeth. <laughs> so, is it true? Are you quitting because you're getting some? <laughs> Was there a going-away party? Did, like, you and your two caucus colleagues, like, get a little a booth and then refuse to get balloons and smugly drink pop out of reusable straws? Did you have a... I, I didn't think the surveillance methods at this hour were so really I know accurate. you! Like, how the heck? Now, you also said that you might be interested in becoming speaker, which is so exciting to me, because Andrew Scheer used to be speaker of the House before he became leader of the Conservatives. You're stepping down as leader and hope to one day become speaker. You are reverse Andrew Shearing. Do you think you might regress further and start speaking out against same-sex marriage? <laughs> I, I, I could never regress that far. Uh, has politics changed much since you first became leader? Is it getting nastier? You know, I know you have a bit of a beef going with Jugmeet Singh now, right? It's not a beef, exactly. It's a beef? I, I, it, no, For I mean, my purposes, can we call it a beef? Can we call it a meatless burger? Okay, perfect. It's a meatless... <laughs> it's a beyond beef. Can you still work with Jugmeet? Do you still respect Jugmeet? I can work with anyone, and... You know, and that's a good way to end that question. Ouch! I'm gonna miss you as leader big time, you know? You were never too busy for us, and whenever we needed two minutes of content, we could always count on you. Just like tonight, we're running a little bit short. I opened Twitter, I see you stepped out, and you're on the show, it's amazing. You're gonna leave a huge hole in our ozone layer. And I just wanted to look back at some of our favorite appearances of yours. We have a little bit of a clip to play, a, a, a May tribute. Hello, Mark, I'm here, ready to report for this hour is 22 minutes. Uh, thank you. Wait, is this a panel? Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm on a panel. Hey, Rosie. Good to see you. So, Elizabeth May, you never know when she'll just show up uh, on a panel. At this point, Mr. Shear, with all due respect, you're not going to be prime minister. I heard her say a word that I know is distinctly unparliamentary. The word was F-A-R-T. Oh, look at that. That's what some people refer to as a green piece out. Uh, what, how did that happen? Did you lose control of your hand while trying to give Harper the finger? No. <laughs> I gotta say, Elizabeth, uh, door knocking is fun. Isn't it great? You really get to know Canadians a whole new way. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, you were Greta Thunberg before Greta Thunberg was cool. Good luck. <laughs> but I think you may regret this because the grass is always greener on the other side, especially now that weed is legal. Good night, Queen Elizabeth. Good night, Mark. Yeah. Everyone in Halifax, thank you.